Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Happy time zone and welcome to another monthly plan with me. We have officially stepped into spooky season, which is insane that the year is actually almost over, but I am super excited for what this month has to offer. Uh, I am recording this on October 2nd, yes, late again. <laughs> Um, but I am getting married in five days, so hopefully that once that is complete, I will be back to a regularly scheduled video upload schedule of at least a few days before the first of the month. But until then, I hope you enjoyed this video, and yeah, so let's get started. Even though she's well into starting and I'm still talking. <laughs> So this month I decided to take a little bit of a different approach to my normal October plan with me's. I didn't really go the spooky Halloween route. I actually took a much more it's very Twilight now that I now that I kind of think about it, but Twilight really wasn't like the inherent inspiration for this setup. The setup was actually inspired by a recent trip to Napa Valley, which if you are unfamiliar with California geography, uh, Napa Valley is a city in Northern California and there's a bunch of wineries and forest. <laughs> um, and I recently went there for my bachelorette party and we stayed in this incredible home in like the middle of the woods and it was just... It was perfect. Um, it definitely felt, I guess, like you stepped into a Twilight film. Um, and I was just really inspired by that trip, so I decided to do my October plan with me inspired by said experience. Um, I try to keep it relatively simple. Again, this is simple in terms of how I do simple. This is probably by no means simple for most people, but it took a lot to restrain myself <laughs> from making these pages too overwhelming. Um, but yeah, that was the inspiration for this month's setup. So if you've seen my recent YouTube video, you would know that Trinletober is in full swing. We are on day two, and I am so grateful to my past self for pre-filming slash creating 20 spreads for Trinletober because I knew that the beginning of October would be absolute madness for me. So thank you, past self. I really appreciate it. Um, which means I only have, a, like, 11 more to do, which is great that I was able to plan ahead and, and do at least half of the spreads that I needed to do. So, huge thank you to those of you who have decided to participate in this year's Journal Tober. Really means the world. Um, if you are still interested in participating, it's never too late. You can join whenever. You can do one prompt a few prompts, all of them. Uh, the list is in my uh, YouTube video as well as on my Instagram highlight. If you do decide to join and share your journal spreads, don't forget to tag me so I can take a look once I have the time. 
once again, just a huge thank you to all of you who are participating and or supporting. Alrighty, while she works on the mood and habit trackers, I want to kind of pick your brains a bit about something that I've been working on, something that's been marinating. <laughs> marinating, I, I don't, I, I never, I swear, doing these voiceovers causes me to say words that I like don't say in real life. I, 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 <laughs> I never say marinating. I, I, uh, anyways, um, yes, my idea. So I am thinking of opening journal commissions for 2025. Well aware that that is nowhere near where we currently are, but that's kind of the point. I think my idea is to essentially offer a fully customized bullet journal in my style. Obviously, I will add like certain parameters right like if you want only the beginning pages of a bullet journal or if you want three months six months nine months a full year etc priced accordingly um i just feel like that'd be so much fun to create what i do but for you guys so the idea is not super fleshed out yet but i kind of just wanted to run it by you guys see what you thought see if any of you would actually be interested in a customized bullet journal uh for 2025 or in general just what you thought of the idea as a whole uh yeah just let me know your thoughts in the comments
Okay, so for a while there, the sun was giving me very romantic, ethereal vibes, but it kind of just got to the point where it was a bit too much and I couldn't even see what I was doing, so I hope it wasn't too distracting. I know that a lot of you enjoy the mood lighting in my videos, but if I couldn't even see what I was doing, you definitely couldn't see. <laughs> uh, I mean, I, nonetheless, you realistically only missed me sketching some leaves. So, nothing really exciting anyways. <laughs> Alrighty friends, moving on to the final spread in this month's plan with me. These pages are much more personalized, I would say. Uh, I wanted a place to document my favorite photos from our wedding, so I thought this would kind of be the perfect place to paste them in once we get the photos back from the photographer. It's a pretty simple setup. I wanted to leave as much blank space as possible for the photos. Of course, not everyone is getting married this month, so you can definitely play around as much as you want with this kind of setup.
Okay, everyone, here is the final flip through of my October setup inspired by forest <laughs> and not much else. Uh, I really hope you enjoy. I had a lot of fun with this setup as always. If you are participating in Journaltober, don't forget to tag me. I would love to see your creations. Or if any of my other Plan With Me's inspire you in the future, I would love to see those as well. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video, which will 100% be on time. Or maybe 90%. <laughs> Bye!